Hello everybody, how you all doing? Dave here. Thinking about getting a 12 string? I got some guaranteed must knows that you need to know before you go and get a 12 string. If you're already playing a 6 string, loving it, 6 string acoustic, thinking about graduating up to a 12 string. Um, first off, answer a few questions then give you a couple of must must know tips um, for 12 string owners. Um, only from my experience, I'm not a professional or anything like that. Number one myth is uh, 12 string, twice as hard to play than a 6 string um, because you have twice the amount of strings. Don't be intimidated by that. Play the chords exact same way that you do on your 6 string. G, D, C, E. Right? It's the same. Tune the same. See, here's the 6 string. You play it the same way. Now is it harder to play a 12 string? Maybe a little bit because you got twice the amount of strings. But don't let that intimidate you. You got your chords figured out already on your 6 string. Move up to a 12 string immediately. You'll love it. Um, you get so much more sound out of it, right? some much much needed note of tips um, so number one don't be intimidated go ahead and make the move get a 12 string but here's some tips about taking care of your 12 string you got a 12 string you got twice the amount of strings on here um, putting twice the amount of stress on your neck um, I found that when I first got my 12 string under a thousand dollars if you buy yourself a, like a Taylor 12 string um, or something that's up a thousand dollars or plus you won't have this problem. You don't have to worry about what I'm kind of seeing here. But if you don't, you get one a little bit cheaper, you know, like a Van Gogh, or a, which is very nice guitar sound, excellent, or a Harley Benton or something like that. Um, if you take off all the strings all at once, there's so much tension that's released on the neck that the neck tends to whoop want to bend on you. So what happens is when you put all your strings back on again, is you go to play and you're going to have a fret buzz or you're going to, your action is going to be way too high. Then you're going to pull out your Allen key, you're going to start adjusting the truss rod, and if you're new at it, you're not too sure to go this way, that way, and it's not an immediate uh, reaction once you adjust your truss rod. Um, you'll adjust it, it might move a little bit on the neck, the action on the neck, but over a couple of hours it'll actually move a bit more, so you might not end up going too far and getting way out of whack. Um, I do highly suggest that when you're changing your strings on a 12 string, if you can, take off all your strings, use a lemon oil on your fretboard. This is such a key tip. For smooth playing, like I buy this, this is by D'Addario. Um, it's a lemon oil specifically for fretboards, it's just a lemon oil though. And so I like to take off all the strings. It keeps your fretboard looking nice, keeps it that nice little, uh, the darker look to it. Um, on top of it, it does, stops it from drying out. There's nothing worse than a dried out fretboard. If you ever go to a pawn shop or something like that, the majority of guitars, because they're not taken care of, um, pick one up and go like this. Put your finger down the string right in the middle of the fret and go up and down, like try to create a vibrato and you'll feel like a, you'll not only feel it in your finger, the grit, like the uh, 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 you'll almost hear it in your ears. <laughs> it goes right through your bones. Anyhow, so if you want to, an option to take off all your strings, you have a cheaper guitar and you're too worried about having to address your truss rod, what you could do is you change one string at a time. There's a couple of bonuses to change one string at a time. Number one, it leaves the neck with all the stress on it the same, so it's not going to change. It's not noticing any difference. It's staying right where its memory tells it to stay right at the moment. Um, on top of it, when you take one string off and then you replace it with another, it's easier to put them back in the tune rather than starting from scratch and trying to find the right octave of where you want to tune in. Um, on top of it, this guitar here was under $1,000. When I first got it, I used to tune it at standard tuning, pitch tuning, which it's tuned right now. I have an electronic tuner that's built into it. I keep it standard tuning now, but for a while, I was afraid to standard tune it. Why? Because the bridge had lifted off. I live in a very dry, dry climate and a bubble my whole body of the guitar, top of the guitar, started to bubble. 
and it cost me a couple hundred dollars to have it fixed. Um, did such a fantastic job. I feel okay with the keep in tuned uh, standard tuning. But great suggestion for 12 string guitars is you tune it down half a step or a full step. And what you do is you get yourself a capo. One of these. And that way, if you have it tuned down half a step, you might put it on the first fret. If you have it tuned down a full step, put your capo on your second fret, you're at standard tuning. You play along with anybody you want. Um, the plus sides to that is less stress on the neck um, because you do have twice the amount of strings in a standard guitar. On top of it, you can actually play more songs when you have it tuned down. Um, I like to play along the, uh, some of the musicians that I like to follow. And there's a couple of times you come across songs because if you're standard tuning, you can't play those songs. You have to uh, tune your guitar down or do uh, an alternative tuning. Um, so if you keep it tuned down, it actually opens up your range of music and makes your playground a lot more fun. Uh, so it's just a thought for you. Um, on top of it, when you buy a cable for a 12 string, you can't just get just a regular cable. This here's a cable that I have for my six strings. Works fantastic in all six strings. I put it on here on my 12 string and see what happens. Here I got a guitar pick somewhere. This is just a standard cable. Hear that? You know what that is? You have to buy yourself, and they're no more money really, they're about the same money. This is called Kaiser. Um, made a fantastic capo. I was so surprised when I finally got one of these. I used to take those and put elastic bands around them to try to give them to pull down harder. Get one of these. Get yourself a 12 string. On top of it, some other tips. Um, take care of your guitar. Buy yourself some cleaner. Um, keep your hands. Wipe it every single time you use it. Um, I generally sit there. It's like I consider myself like a Jed Clampett from the Beverly Hillbilly sitting on his porch uh, while waiting for Ellie Mae to come home. Cleaning his gun. <laughs> no. Anyhow. Just take care of your instrument. It'll last you long and give you so much fun later on um, if you take care of it. Thinking about buying a 12 string, don't be intimidated from it. Play it the same as you play your, your 6 string, but you will end up playing different. And what do I mean like that? There's like, like 6 string for instance, I would probably, you know, you strum it more of a, to me you strum it. string you tend to kind of like pick them out a little bit. See the difference? Anyhow, have lots of fun. I hope those tips help you out there. If you don't like anything I say about it, by all means leave a comment there. I'm welcome to them all. I'm not a professional, just a guitar lover and a guitar owner. And talking by experience of uh, owning a 12 string. Uh, have a good day, everybody.